Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you're doing so well today. I'm really excited for today's video because today I'm going to be doing a very special reading vlog based on reading Jane Eyre. In my last reading vlog I asked you for your advice on the best place to start with the Bronte books, where should I begin? And most people by a mile told me to start with Jane Eyre. I thought it would be really fun to share my thoughts on Jane Eyre as I go. So that is the plan for this video. I'm planning to read the entire book over this weekend and share my thoughts with you. But before we get started on the reading vlog, this video is very kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewellery brand that emphasises that high quality jewellery should not cost the planet. They're also very transparent about their sustainability goals and you can read all about their vision and environmental impact very clearly on their website. So I want to share very briefly about the three pieces of jewellery that I've been sent for this video which I am absolutely in love with. The first thing is this necklace that I have on now which is the Rebecca necklace and it's kind of like a sunbeam or a starburst I actually don't know which but I love it. I also love the unique style of chain on it. This one feels like it's the perfect length for anything that I wear. I also received the Marnie Opal necklace which is a really tiny dainty little necklace. I feel very fancy when I wear this necklace. I feel very great grown up and it's just really subtle but goes with everything and the final thing I got I'm not wearing because I'm actually going to give this item to a friend as a gift which are the Kennedy earrings and I am really excited to send these to her and I hope that she likes them so if you too would like to check out Ana Luisa's jewellery either as a gift for yourself or Valentine's Day is coming up maybe you want to give a gift to a loved one or a friend for Valentine's Day then definitely check their website out and use the code in my description I'll put it somewhere on the screen as well and you can get 20% off your order with this code so go and check them out really love Ana Luisa I genuinely love every piece of jewelry that I've ever had from them so I would fully recommend them okay so back to Jane Eyre I slightly lied at the beginning of this video because I'm not reading the whole book this weekend I actually already started the book. In an ideal world, I would have saved starting this book and recorded it all in a video, but here's what happened. After everyone told me how much they loved this book and was raving about me starting it, saying it's their favourite book ever, I had to just pick it up straight away and have a little, you know, have a little read, see how I got on. And I think I just sat down and read loads in one go and suddenly I was a good chunk of the way in and I hadn't stopped to think about recording it. So that's what happened there. So I'm about a third of the way through now and I want to read the other two thirds in this video. So my plan is to read and stop at every third of the way through and give you my kind of general thoughts on the book at that point in the story. So I've been annotating as I go through so that I can kind of remember my thoughts as I flip back through. And my general thoughts at the beginning of this book are first of all that it's amazing and I can't believe it's taken me this long to read it. Um, secondly, the writing in this book, I've heard that Charlotte Bronte's writing is very lyrical but it's just so poetic and beautiful that it's taken me a long time to read each page, not because it's hard to read, but just because it's so beautiful and I keep rereading the same sentences over and over. Um, I'll give you some examples. In the very first chapter, she's describing the scene outside her window as she's reading. And um, she says, at intervals, whilst turning over the leaves of my book, I studied the aspect of that winter afternoon. Afar, it offered a pale blank of mist and cloud. Near, a scene of wet lawn and storm beat shrub, with ceaseless rain sweeping away wildly before a long and lamentable blast. And I just feel like in that one sentence, the bleak and cold and stormy kind of tone of the story is set and 
in general, the kind of bleak and depressing tone of the story is really well done and really um, clear throughout the whole of this beginning part of the story. I also wrote around the 100 page mark that it feels like it's only at this point in the story, about 100 pages in, where things are starting to look a little bit hopeful. Um, and I feel like reading 100 pages of suffering and pain really created a deep emotional connection in me as a reader towards Jane as a character. Jane's character prevails over all of this suffering and she kind of shines through it in a way that in other books that kind of 100 pages of suffering and depressing stuff would really drag the pace of the story down but because of Jane's attitudes, because of the way she deals with scenarios and just the way that she carries that depressing plot through, it makes it feel not slow and boring but kind of almost fast paced even though it's not. Another sentence I really love is where Jane is observing a friend at her school who is quite a plain and ordinary looking girl but when she begins to speak it's like her beauty shines through her words and the way she describes this is then her soul sat on her lips and language flowed and she kind of describes her radiance and beauty through the language that comes from her mouth and I just love it. It's just so beautifully described and I think that's my general feeling at the moment that it's just beautifully written, the tone is perfectly set and Jane as a character is a real delight to read from the perspective of. So yes, I hope that you really enjoyed this video and enjoy hearing my thoughts about Jane Eyre. Go and get yourself a comforting warm drink and get cozy because this may be a fairly long video and let's get reading. Good morning everyone, it's currently Saturday and I've just about reached the two thirds of the way through mark in Jane Eyre and I was up so late last night, I think I was up till midnight reading this book because I could not put it down and I think this book is just getting better and better with every 
few pages that I read. One of the things that I feel like I have observed is that in the first third of the book, it very much feels like Jane is pulling the story forward. Like her character is what is pulling and dragging the story through. Whereas in this second third, it sort of feels more like the story is pulling Jane through and it's more sort of things that are happening to her. The first third of the book is very much about who Jane is when things are depressing and when things are hard. Whereas the second third of the book, it feels like things are going a bit better for Jane. She's getting a bit more, um, she's getting noticed for who she is. She is getting to do a job that feels fulfilling to her. She is um, getting some truth where there were lies and hidden things before. And now we're getting to know who Jane is when things are going a bit better, when things are kind of going well. And I'm really, really intrigued for this last third. Um, I know how Jane Eyre, like I know the plot twist in Jane Eyre and I know it's probably about to come any moment now and I'm just excited to see how that unfolds. The language is so romantic at this point. Oh, the, the descriptions of love and that kind of soul connection that you can have with a person that transcends your experiences and your appearance and your background. I just think it's described so well. I feel like there's so many quotes from this book that I could just stick up on my wall. <laughs> Basically my plan for the rest of the day is to read this book. I don't have any other plans today so I'm hoping to get at least another 100 pages or so and then tomorrow on Sunday to actually finish this book and give you my final thoughts. So yes, I won't say anything more at this point and I'll check in a final time once I have finished Jane Eyre with all of my final thoughts. It is currently Sunday evening. It's getting quite dark outside and there's not loads of light. I'm literally sat right in front of a window, soaking up the last of the light of the day to film this bit of the video because I wanted to film my final thoughts on Jane Eyre now, as soon as I finish the book, because I have finished Jane Eyre and I don't even know where to start. I... I guess I'll start by saying that this may have become my favourite book. It's at least in my top five books now. I absolutely wholeheartedly understand all of you who said that Jane Eyre is your favourite classic or your favourite book or the best book ever because I, I get it. It's amazing. <laughs> I am so sad that I have not read this book until now, but at the same time, I'm sad that I have read it and it's over. I feel like this is one of those books that I'm gonna reread and reread throughout my life. Even as soon as I finished it, I just wanted to read it again, which never really happens to me. And to me, that is a sign of an amazing book. So I feel like I spent most of this video gushing about Jane Eyre. So I'm not gonna keep doing that now. But I thought I would share three of my favorite things just kind of off the top of my head straight after finishing this book before I fully process my thoughts. 
um, that were kind of my three favourite things from reading this book and I guess reasons why I think you should read it if you haven't already. First of all, Jane is such a powerful character and such a powerful narrator of this story but she's powerful in a very quiet and independent kind of way. She struggles, she's not perfect but she has this wisdom that is beyond her years. I think for the majority of the book she is 18, 19 years old and most of the characters around her are older than her and yet she is consistently called to draw upon this deep inner strength that she has to counsel others, to um, resist the temptations that others present to her um, and to stay true to herself. Others in this book try to make decisions for her, try to carve out a path for her, try to belittle her and she consistently draws on this inner strength to resist and she is just such a strong character and I was full of admiration for her throughout this story which brings me on to my second kind of favourite thing about this book which is the language, the writing, it's so beautiful, it's so lyrical but not in a way where it's just beautiful for the sake of being beautiful but the writing really sets a tone, it sets a mood for which you kind of need to be in to immerse yourself in the story. The way that she describes weather and months of the year and just the general surroundings really puts you in a certain mood and really sets a tone for how you're going to feel about that scene. And also the language that is used between Jane and Mr Rochester as they as they talk to each other it's so lyrical but in such a beautiful way and I found myself rereading and rereading so much of this book and so much of the dialogue and I've highlighted so many quotes that I'm sure I will reread again and again. And finally even though this is a slow book like it's a 650 page classic it's not a fast paced read it doesn't ever, at least to me, it didn't ever feel boring. In fact, I would say it felt gripping. I, as I said, I was up till midnight um, twice this weekend reading this book because I couldn't put it down. And I was just in one of those one more chapter, one more chapter kind of moods throughout a lot of my time reading this book. So overall, I love Jane Eyre. I'm so glad I read it and thank you so much to everyone who told me to start here with Bronte books and encouraged me to finally, finally pick up this book after it's been on my bookshelves for at least 10 years, probably even more than 10 years and I've never read it. So thank you for everyone who persuaded me to finally read this book. I've literally spent the last three days reading Jane Eyre and doing very little else and it's been the best weekend, honestly. <laughs> and I've really enjoyed recording my thoughts as I've been reading this book with you. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And let me know if you'd like more videos like this where I spend a whole weekend reading one book and share my thoughts with you. Normally when I do a reading vlog, I kind of share my thoughts at the beginning at the and at the end, not quite like all the way through. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this style of video and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll see you very soon in another video. And don't forget that you can get 20% off at Ana Luisa with the link and code in my description box if you're looking for a gift either for yourself or for a loved one. <laughs>